For those who read the Italian philosopher of history Giam Battista Vico, you may be familiar with his four ages that cycle eternally, the theocratic age, the aristocratic age, the democratic age, and the chaotic age. I have neatly combined my five kinds of different societies with his four ages as follows. 1. The time of Noah parallels Vico's aristocratic age. In this time all men were bad, except Noah and his family. It is a pre-constructive age. It is a time of a kind of MOAT fundraising. 2. The time between the end of the flood and the building of the Babylon Towers parallels Vico's democratic age. This is our best age, a utopia and another pre-constructive stage. It is a time of a kind of MOAT 36 society, 33 angels and one man. 3. The time of the towers of Babylon and their destruction causing the confusion of languages parallels. Vico's chaotic age. Here is a time of post-construction. It is a time of MOAT and coat marketing. Ha Satan from Job also fits here, because as you know the name Satan is Hebrew for accuser. Ha. Satan, like one of God's lawyers, accuses Job of not being a pious man, and so God tests him in the book of Job. For the time between Abraham and Moses goes with Vico's theocratic age. It is a time of more perfection, and very story-centric. It also goes with the story of MOAT, and the future of MOAT in a liberal community, a community where communication is opened up between its members so as to give ultimate freedom for anyone and everyone to be understood or potentially understood. 5. Finally, the time in the biblical exodus when the Israelites and Moses have escaped from slavery in Egypt and are in the wilderness parallels a kind of crossing between Vico's theocratic age to another aristocratic age. It is a time of pure science without much art or imagination, the other four societies all are artistic, hence the MOAT project. It is a time of complaining and inquiry. This is the state of affairs where I think that we are in today. Therefore, I desire to build the MOAT projects to help to get us out of this age because I have a complaint which is that it is very hard for us to accept the idea that God is a benign being in the universe since he allows for the existence of schizophrenia, cancer, AIDS, Nazi death camps, and rape to occur. The monumental outrageousness around Texas would help raise money for the charities of the victims of schizophrenia, cancer, AIDS, and rape with its artistic event of the building and presentation of the MOAT monuments to the public. Kelly with Billy McBride. I continue to mention that we are in a society of the fifth stage, one that relates to the biblical wilderness in Exodus, and one of science and complaining. It is a new generation upon earth trying to cycle back from a symbolic MOAT to a literal MOAT, which has four phases. Just before our present time of dwelling in the wilderness, I have suggested that we were in a kind of heaven which relates to the biblical progression from Abraham to Joseph. It is also called Room Boom, and also called The Tale of Literal MOAT. The Tale of Literal MOAT is coat, or the more complicated version of the Consequences of us building an actual MOAT for charitable purposes. Coat, the fourth stage in our society, which came before our present one we live in now, was a time when we were in heaven doing something very interesting called coat. One main thing to point out about coat is that it is a self sufficient and seemingly infinite way m.o.t's influence is had upon those. Who built it in their time? Code can be described in this way, as a series of instructions. Another cycle of code, five stages. One, the reading by an individual of a primary text. Two, the simultaneous remembering of the reader of what the Roman poet Lucretius called the motes, or certain words and phrases that come to the reader while reading, 
and using them as a collection of instructions. 3. Next, the reader stops reading and finds the modes they collected within their living environment. This could be finding the suggestion of Beethoven's music as suggested by the book in which the reader was reading. 4. Using the modes the reader found, she or he adjusts the environment in any way with those modes or word particles, or for instance now listening to Beethoven's music. 5. Finally, the environment is new enough to become read itself by the reader as a secondary text itself. Then the cycle repeats itself over again. Also, one can find as many modes while reading to use in the environment as one is able to, it is not limited to one per reading. Code is intended as a plan of guidance. One that through readings the reader uses the books she or he reads as areas where the modes are found, which guide her or him a series of instructions, rules and permissions to do things in the environment which otherwise would not have been possible in that time. Were it not for the book being read at that time. Bertha with Billy McBride. Knowledge of pleasure. One it did branch off. A it made life easier. B the five or six senses. C sense experience. D sexual pleasure was private and separate. E non-sexual pleasures of the flesh. F not private, not separate flesh exhilaration. 2. Non-sexual flesh exhilaration. A. Natural, UN tinkered, kinds. B. Tinkering with technology for pleasure. C. Hybrid pleasures. D. Inventing pleasures by using technology. E. Technology evolves. F. MOAT pleasure attractions for tourists. 3. Secular angels of MOAT 36. A. Muses of the MOAT, the monumental outrageousness around Texas project. B. Invisible to the channeler. C. They are good and desire to have good clean fun. D. They are democratic and fair. E. They are charitable. F. They are all knowing. 4. MOAT. A. Raises money for charities by admission fees, etc. B. Builds the 254 pleasure attractions in Texas. C. Competes with nature herself to give pleasure. D. Outdoes and forward slash or improves upon nature in this way. E. Public tourist sections separated always from the private. F. Uses the most advanced non-sexual flesh exhilarating technologies. 5. Non-sexual pleasures of the body, the sense of touch. A. As nothing else can yet. B. New pleasures. C. Contemporary pleasures of touch. D. The skin zones. E. The muscles and their zones. F. The obscure sense of balance. 6. The ability to feel good. A. The body as the soul. B. Transcendence by non-sexual pleasure. C. Peace and pleasure. D. Pleasurable activities. E. The fun that is clean. F. The goodness of MOAT and contact with the MOAT builders of the future. 7. Cycle of societies and interpretation. A. The five different societies in time. B. Those before MOAT. C. Those after MOAT. D. An infinite cycle. E. Ours is one before MOAT. F. The reasons to build MOAT flesh technology. A. The five societies as they relate to the Bible. A. Ours, like in the time of the wilderness of Exodus, this leads to B. Noah's time, a time of MOAT fundraising, also called how to fly a spacecraft, leads to C. The time after the flood, and before Babylon, MOAT marketing. D. Babylon, MOAT 36. E. From Abraham to Joseph, the tale of MOAT, and then back to A. A new generation is born. F, A and B are here on earth while C, D and E are in heaven, and our duty to re-educate with every new generation, all over again. Angel Shay with Billy McBride My understanding of the five different societies in ancient Hebrew times is that the utopian time that came after Noah's deluge and before the building of the towers and also the time of Noah's deluge were times men existed upon earth. 
if I may be bold, the following two societies afterwards which are Babylonian craziness, and Abraham's to Joseph's time, both of these two times did not happen to men on earth but in separate heavens. Following, those two, the last ancient Hebrew society, the time of the Israelites in the wilderness on their trek to the promised land, it happened back on earth again. These are the only societies that can exist, everything else up to today is just a variation of one of these Hebrew societies, depending on the time we dwell in. Diana with Billy McBride Five types of societies, with some new ideas. 1. The time of Noah, M-O-A-T construction. This is a realm of the writers Virgil, Lucretius, Montaigne, Freud and Beckett. For my own books and ideas, it is a time of grey curtain piano, stay friends, the hydromancy of Jenny McBride, and Coat. This happens on Earth. To the time after the flood, and before Babylon, M-O-A-T marketing. This is the realm of Saint Augustine. And Dante. It is a heavenly afterlife. 3. Babylon time, M-O-A-T fundraising. The realm of the writers of the Bible, and Miguel de Cervantes. See my book, The Band, a play. It is also a heavenly afterlife. 4. The time from Abraham to Joseph. M.O.A.T. Tales, A Realm of Chaucer, Shakespeare. For Our Tales. The Tale of Green Curtained Piano. It is also a heavenly afterlife. 5. The Israelites in the Wilderness, Symbolic M.O.A.T., A Bad Time, A Time of John Milton. Our Musical. Times. A Time of Thanks, Praise and Gratitude. This is a new generation on Earth. It is our present bad time. Then the cycle repeats itself. Marba with Billy McBride. I unearth this stack of papers from different ideas I work on. I am in the process of organizing the major trends with which I am involving myself. Here is a list of notes I made of projects I started which I am returning to. 1. MOAL the 1,500 plus musical compositions that I am still working on to cover the Texas highways for the whole state while driving and listening between counties. I have made 1,136 for YouTube so far. To my evaporation method of writing. It is also called the Joseph. 3. My style of writing of my first book The Transcendence. For my raindrop style of writing called also true. 5. A hopeful future budget. 6. The goal of being able to teach my book called Powers. 7. The five societies of MOAT. We are in symbolic MOAT presently. 8. Coat, the win-win situation, secular guidance from a special advertising. 9. To revise and rephrase books I have written. 10. The band. Book systems. Flashcards. The breaking of the vessels. Our books as popular to study. 11. Green curtained piano. 12. A Lucretian reading of Shakespeare. 13. A new way to read deeper with attention to expanding uncertainties. 14. Set up synthesizer. 15. Mattis's color combinations with apartment cleaning. 16. Writing about my personal MOAT troubles. 17. Hawaiian sonnet styles from speed reading. Coat. 18. Silent poetry. 19. Writing more questions and answers for and from angels. 20. Singing my poems. 21. Play Thrickbot's number game. 22. Dual adjectives for lists of categories in writing and to make art. 23 more unlimited Shakespeare studies. 24 Jacob's style in writing, antithesis. Jennifer with Billy McBride. I know this because I made it up, symbolic MOAT seems to be one of the seemingly five kinds of civilization. The other four seem literal MOAT civilizations. We seem to live in symbolic MOAT. Now. All of this history only seems this way. 
It may be that it is not actually this way. The five seeming histories proceed this way. 1. Preliteral M.O.O.T. Construction on Earth, MOAT Fundraising. 2. Literal MOAT 36 Charitable Group, Utopia on Earth. 3. Post Literal M.O.O.T. A Civilization Elected and Dwelling in Heaven, MOAT Marketing. 4. The Tale of Literal MOAT, The Civilization in Heaven. 5. Symbolic MOAT, A New Generation Upon the Earth and in the Wilderness. And the cycle only seems to repeat itself back to one. These civilizations correspond to the ancient biblical civilization of 1. The time of Noah 2. The time after the flood and before Babylon 3. Babylonian languages scattered 4. From Abraham to Joseph in Egypt 5. The Israelites in the wilderness on their way to the promised land, the land of milk and honey Diana with Billy McBride